Hi, hello, good morning. We're actually starting the weekly vlog on a Monday, uh, so happy Monday. It's currently 8.45. Luckily, I don't have class until 9, so 15 minutes from now. I ordered a coffee, which is a habit I really need to kick this year. So yeah, I have one class this morning. It's a coding class, and it's a nice and easy one. It's one of the sessions that I really enjoy teaching. Hallelujah, because I slept for about five hours last night. I have been trying to allow myself to sleep in as much as I want um, and to kind of allow myself to regulate my sleep schedule again because um, because of work in the past and school, I have had a sleep schedule that is very like forced into a certain time frame because I'm going to school and I have classes to go to or I'm going to work, so I have to get up for work. And I'm just trying, I've been in a, a structure for sleeping for so long that I kind of just want to, you know, since I'm working as a freelancer and I have the ability to control my own schedule, I'm trying to make changes that will allow me to figure out what my personal sleep schedule should be like, if that makes sense. So with allowing myself to wake up when I want or allowing myself to sleep in if I need it to try and gauge when I should be waking up. I have also tried to go the other way and allowed myself to stay up if I'm not tired because I used to try and force myself to go to sleep at like 10 o'clock at night. Um, and then I would be up until one o'clock in the morning anyways because I wouldn't want to go to sleep. So last night I was like, okay, if you don't want to go to sleep yet, you're not tired, just don't go to sleep. I don't, I think that may have been a mistake, but it's really hard to tell because sometimes you have to do that for like a week straight um, in order to reset your circadian rhythm to like uh, make your body understand that it's okay if you go to bed at one o'clock and get up at like 7.30, which I know that's only six and a half hours, but for me, most of the time that's good. Um, however, the five hours I got last night is not good. Not good at all. So <laughs> um, I need a minimum six, maximum like seven and a half, maybe eight if I'm really exhausted. So that's where we're at this morning. I think I'm gonna try and do a very quick five minute meditation before my class. And then I have some more coursework to do because they posted more coursework. I also have some discussions to participate in that I haven't done. And I'm still writing out all of my scenes because the week one's project was to write out scene cards for the story that you're working on or the manuscript that you're using for the class. And I told myself I was gonna use both of my manuscripts right now, which also mistake. Probably. <laughs> um, so I have a lot of scene cards to write out. And then I have one more class later today, which is actually a content creation class, which is fun. We haven't had very many of those lately. Um, so I'm gonna have to do some work on that later today to kind of like get ready for it. Meditate and then teach and then we need a productive Monday. Don't get laid back cause you're not that cool. Don't think you're safe and sound. returned from kickboxing. My plan was to work for five hours today um, and then I worked for I think seven or eight. And I always think like my prime amount of work time is like four to five hours which I know sounds like a short amount of time but um, I'm pretty sure they've done studies that say that like when people have an eight hour work day like get paid for an eight hour work day they're only really working four to five hours anyways because the rest of the time is spent like talking to your coworkers, taking breaks. So when I'm like oh my god I worked seven hours today it's like seven hours straight which is just kind of a lot like even when I have a really hard time taking proper breaks so I'll like make myself lunch or I'll warm up my lunch or whatever if I prepped um, and then I'll go and to eat it and I'll be like, oh, I'll just take a break while I'm eating it and then I'll just work while I'm eating anyways. So I did a lot more work today than I intended and then I wasn't gonna go to kickboxing because I wanted to stay and like do some writing but then I remembered how fantastic kickboxing makes me feel and I went and I don't regret it and now it is, what time is it? It's probably shortly after eight, 
Actually, I think it's eight o'clock right now. I think I'm gonna spend the next half hour or so just kind of like cleaning up around the house after the work day. Um, and then I'm trying to like meditate between switching tasks, if that makes sense. Um, just so that I can kind of like reset and recenter and like refocus. Um, so I'm going to clean up a little bit and then I'm gonna meditate and then I'm going to try and get at least an hour of writing done before I wind down and head to bed, so. That's the plan. First, I'm gonna, I don't know, throw some protein powder in this and have some sort of sustenance. <laughs> Hi, hello, good morning. It is Tuesday, January 18th. Um, remember how I was talking about only needing like six and a half hours of sleep? Well, last night, I'm pretty sure I slept for eight and a half, which is fair because I went to kickboxing and I haven't been kickboxing recently, so it's like a lot for me. Um, and since I had crappy sleep the night before, my body was just like, um, pff, goodbye world. <laughs> As you can probably tell, I'm still not fully awake. Um, I was supposed to be teaching a class seven minutes ago. However, since most of my, most of the schools that I work with are based in Ontario, and in Ontario they've been having like a blizzard, it's been snowing like crazy. Uh, so two of my classes actually just got cancelled and it kind of worked out nicely in my schedule because I had four classes today, which is a lot anyways, like by the end of three classes my brain is usually mushed because I'm like on and excited and happy and teaching um so it was gonna it was gonna be quite a brain mushy day um however two of them got cancelled and it's like the two that are in between the other classes which is nice because it means that i have like breaks like long breaks between my classes so i'm going to meditate i feel like i've been talking about meditating a lot and that's because i i'm trying to meditate more i used to try and meditate like once a day even just for five minutes i'm trying to meditate more than once a day now. I'm trying to use meditation as like a separation between the types of work that I'm doing. Basically right now I kind of have three jobs, so like teaching uh, slash also doing behind the scenes work, like I do marketing and some website stuff for them as well. YouTube and then writing. I'm counting those all as jobs because even if I don't get paid much for YouTube and writing, um, I still get a small amount and they take up a third of my time each, so I need to, I may as well count them as jobs. So um, I've been having trouble having structure around that and trying to work around all of that, which I'm sure is something that if you're trying to write to get published or to publish yourself, it's a lot to balance when you have work that you need to do in order to support yourself as well. So I'm learning how to balance that and uh, meditation has been very helpful to kind of like separate and recenter and then move on to the next job. Um, and I'm also, oh, speaking of that, I'm also applying for a grant. So I kind of applied to be able to apply for um, a grant from the Canadian uh, Council of the Arts in Literature. Um, and I actually heard about this for all my Canadian writers, if there are any of you who are, you know, on your way to trying to get published. There are grants for basically funding one to two years of you working on a novel. Um, you have to, you know, send them a resume and then also explain to them why you deserve to be considered for those grants and then you have to also apply to those grants. So I'm, I've already been approved to be able to apply. So I'm uh, approved as like a new slash early career artist in literature in Canada. Um, so now I can apply for those grants and I need to work on that a little bit today. But wouldn't that be fun? Cause like, I mean, I don't think I'd stop teaching. I would keep teaching if I got the grant. Um, I would just have, you know, a lot less classes and a lot less hours. And then I would like have more support for actually working on a writing project, which like I can't even imagine. So we're gonna put a lot of effort into our, um, application and fingers crossed hope it goes well i am going to have some of my tea i'm going to do another meditation and we're going to do some more rewriting
hello good morning i didn't finish the didn't finish vlogging the day yesterday because uh, i went on a nice walk it was wonderful i listened to my podcast from the class that i'm taking while i went for that walk then i came back and i showered and all was well i was feeling good uh, and then i got out of the shower and i leaned down to pick up my blow dryer um and i i as i was leaning down a sharp pain went through my lower back um and i was like oh that was weird i did some did something weird shouldn't have done that um and i mean listen sometimes i have sharp pains in my back just like do you ever get those pains when like you breathe and there's like a sharp pain in your chest or your back sometimes i get those I don't know if, if that's a problem, but the thing is that it never lasts. Like, it's just like a quick thing when I breathe and I'm like, oh, that was weird. And then it goes away. Um, so I thought it was like that. And then I stood up straight, tried to bend again, which that was a big mistake. Um, and then I uh, tried to walk <laughs> and that also hurt. So basically my only comfortable positions right now are standing straight like this, making sure that my posture is good because if I like lean forward a little bit or lean back, um, my lower back screams at me. Um, and laying flat seems to also work as well, but sitting down, like I can sit down for 15 to 20 minutes and then it starts to like get sore again. So I think I threw out my back. I don't know. It's never happened before and I'm very frustrated and it, I can't help but think that it feels like, you know, I hit a quarter of my life and that was when the universe was like, all right, so it's time for some more aches and pains. We got this for you. Here you go. <laughs> So that's what's going on now. I don't have any classes today because I uh, could, couldn't do them because I can't sit for more than 15 to 20 minutes um, and I can basically just stand here straight. Um, like if I try to lean or shift my weight, it's not, it does not feel good. Um, and I can't even imagine what four hours of classes would have done. So, so the goal of today um, is honestly just to rest. I'm gonna lay down, do some, I have some stretches and stuff that I can be doing. Um, I'm gonna try and get some work done. I'm very frustrated, but I'm gonna do my best to rest because I'm not gonna get better if I don't rest, so. Good morning, we're feeling a lot better this morning. Uh, I'm just gonna do some journaling to get my day started. I have one class today. We're calling it the tester class. Sitting is a little easier today. Bending is a little easier as well. Uh, I can almost fully walk normally and now um, I went for a little walk just like up and down the street yesterday um, and I it was okay it was at, like it was a, an okay walk um, although by the end of it it was starting to get sore again but that's okay because it's progress I give myself like a week I feel like in a week I probably won't have any pain anymore um, and then just like judging by how the last 48 hours went. I'm hoping, oh my God, I hope it doesn't like linger. Um, and then I think I'll do like probably a week of yoga and walking and just like gentle recovery exercises. And then hopefully I can go back to kickboxing. And then, like I said, I have one class today at 11 that I am using as a sort of like tester class to see how it goes sitting down i guess because like right now i'm sitting i've been sitting for about 10 minutes and i can already feel my back starting to get sore so i want to see if i can make it through an hour long class um and see if that is feasible right now so that's where we're at i didn't do anything yesterday because yesterday was a full rest day i mean that's not true i did finish the witcher season two loved that i was worried near the end there were a few things that i was like they could make this happen and if they do i will riot but they didn't so it's fine yeah i pretty much just laid in various positions and did some very minor stretches all day yesterday while watching the witcher i'm gonna do my journaling and then i am going to i think i'm gonna try and do some writing i've got my desk set up to stand right now which i think should be okay um we'll see how those that goes we'll try and do some short writing sprints and then I'll teach my class and then I'm going to try and make myself go for a little walk again. There are a few groceries that I really, really need. So I might go for a walk and see if I can carry a couple things. I don't know if that's pushing it. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> The 
this was quite the week. Um, <laughs> my back is finally sort of starting to feel better. I've been doing a lot of recovery stuff. I've been trying to ice it and stretch and rest a lot. So it's finally starting to feel a bit better. I'm hoping that by next week there isn't any pain left. There is still pain though, which is unfortunate. But I would like to report that I did in fact get some writing done. I finished chapter four. I'm about halfway through chapter five. Um, I'm actually about halfway through editing the draft, um, even though there's like 14 chapters. I think all of my first chapters just had so many words for some reason. They were massive chapters. Um, but I am about halfway through editing the first draft, which means I have about 30,000 words left to edit. So I'm hoping to get another big chunk of that done this weekend. I also know that I keep, I keep kind of overshooting how much I think I can get done and I'm biting off more than I can chew, which results in me feeling like I've failed when really there was no way that I was going to get those things done in the first place. I just like, it was way too big of a goal. Um, so this weekend, my goal is to get one chapter edited each day. Uh, so tomorrow I want to get at least chapter five finished because it's a big chapter again. Um, and then I am also catching up on classwork again this weekend because I obviously, um, I didn't really do anything for the past two days. I kind of just laid on the floor and I tried to do some work, but it was really, really hard to. So that's where we're at. I know it was kind of a weird vlog because I sort of just died in the middle of the week there. Um, but I am thankful that I can walk again and that it doesn't hurt nearly as bad as it did. Um, and I think it'll just get better and I have time to kind of catch up on everything this weekend that I didn't get to do this week. I think it just goes to show that if you don't slow down and take a break when your body needs it, then your body will force you to. In one way or another, mine decided that it, it was gonna throw my back out. <laughs> Yeah, it definitely has made me realize that I need to incorporate more like recovery and mobility stuff. So definitely more yoga, definitely more stretching, um, definitely more mobility stuff, which I should be doing anyways, because I have some issues. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching as usual. Don't forget to smile and I will see you in the next video. Bye.